walk me through, I mean, uh, you know, you've got a ton of stuff on your resume, so we have to pick and choose here. You know, you won a Canada 40 under 40 award, um, but you know, when people Google your name, they see Lionsgate. Do you want to walk through, uh, you know, pick one and, you know, we'll do the other one after, but where do you want to start? Well, I, I, I'd love to chat about Lionsgate for a second, uh, only yeah. because it's such a a great experience to have been involved with. Uh, my former business partner, uh, Frank Schuster, who's a legendary uh, investor, he uh, was a partner of mine in uh, Yorkton Securities. He actually recruited me to join the firm and he retired back in 1997. And a number of months later, he came back and said he wanted to start a movie company called Lionsgate, or he was gonna start a movie company. And he was the first investor and I was invited to be uh, the second investor. Uh, and we, being Frank and also our brokerage firm, raised in the next year or so, I think about $125 million to help launch the business. And, you know, frankly, we struggled for uh, a few years. And then in 2000, we took it public right away. Uh, we recruited a couple of uh, very seasoned and experienced and hungry media executives, John Feltheimer, who's the CEO of the company to this day, and Michael Burns, who's vice chairman. Two of the smartest guys I've ever met, great guys, very strategic, but also, you know, roll up your sleeve, get your hands dirty. And, uh, and they built a, a fantastic company. And I was fortunate to be on the board uh, for 21 uh, years with just, you know, incredible people from, you know, leaders of, of many, many of the world's major uh, media companies uh, over the years. And uh, that, that itself was, was great exposure. But to watch a business get built uh, from the ground up, uh, literally a startup, uh, stocks pull back, uh, uh, you know, in the last couple of years uh, for a couple of reasons. There are some uh, headwinds in that industry. Uh, at the same time, the company's been going through a, a transformation and has become a, a streaming company, which is obviously what everybody's... Uh, focused on these days with the incredible success of, of Netflix and, and Amazon Prime and, and Hulu and, and Lionsgate prides itself on having stars, which is uh, done extremely well, particularly of late, adding million new subscribers. And so it's a combination of, uh, you know, very unique uh, content, uh, you know, considered uh, edgy and entertainment and entertaining and some big, big success stories from, uh, you know, Mad Men in the TV world about the the evolution of the uh, advertising world which became very very popular weeds incredibly popular uh, orange is the new black uh, incredibly successful uh you know and there's literally tens and tens of shows on tens of networks as we speak uh, in television today and on the movie side uh, hunger games you know one of the most incredible franchises of all time uh, Twilight, you know, there's the, the John Wick uh, franchise, the Saw franchise, the Now You See Me, you know, Knives Out, which is one that you may have uh, seen, Jason, a fantastic movie uh, uh, written and directed by Ryan Johnson, who uh, had some Star Wars fame before him. And it's, a, if you haven't seen it, and if people haven't seen Knives Out, it's a, an, a fantastic ensemble cast, a uh, great movie light but exciting and funny and it uh, looks like there'll be a sequel to that and hopefully that becomes a franchise and Daniel Craig who you know we all know as, as, as James Bond obviously plays a Texas detective with a Texas detective drawl and, and he does a great job at it and uh, it's just a great movie it was a few months ago it did very very well at the box office fortunately that got in before uh, COVID but just watching a business and watching executives have a combination of you know, organic growth, uh, picking where in an industry that the in, that the company could be successful relative to the media giants, because it's a business dominated by mega uh, companies, uh, pivoting at the right time to get into the streaming business, knowing how important uh, that was, uh, having, you know, so this combination of organic growth, the right strategies and, and the right M&A strategy, and also embracing the capital markets, uh, the company, uh, has done a really good job of having strong shareholder base and, and really understanding how important the capital markets are uh, to build a company uh, generally, uh, let alone a public company.